Okay. Hello, and welcome to another shooting video. Today I'm going to do something just a little bit different. As you can see here behind me, I've got two Douglas fir 2x6s clamped together on this table. And I'm going to do a comparative, comparative um, penetration test into those 2x6s. And what I'm going to start with is one of the most popular conventional firearms on the market today for um, personal, everyday self-defense carry. And this is 30, 380 caliber. Now the exact make and model doesn't matter that much. It's 380 caliber. And it's just your typical little pocket gun. These things are selling like hotcakes. Everybody loves them. And we're going to be shooting another popular load, and that's the Hornady Critical Defense. That's a kind of a hollow point. And I'm going to fire two rounds of this into those two by sixes. And I'm going to compare that with two rounds from the Pieta remake of the Colt 1851 snub nose revolver, 44 caliber. Now the difference on this one is that the first round I'm going to shoot will be uh, 30 grains of triple F Go X black powder firing a 33 grain soft lead round bullet. And then the next round will be 30 grains of my homemade triple F granulated black powder. I'm going to see how mine compares with commercial grade powder. Then I'm going to compare that same caliber, same projectile, same powder charge with a five inch barrel, just to see if this extra two inches really makes any difference. And I'm gonna see how those two stack up against a very popular uh, conventional firearm out on the market. Oh, and I'm gonna do something else a little different. The FBI has come up with what they call the 333 rule. And that is that their studies have shown that your typical civilian involved self-defense shooting usually uh, takes three rounds in three seconds at three yards. I'm going to dispute the three yards part. That's nine feet. And to be perfectly honest, the only reason I can see somebody challenging me to the point that I need to shoot them is not going to be nine feet. It's going to be an armed robbery, kidnapping, something like that. Racist beating, beating up, beat up the old white guy, you know, something like that. And uh, nine feet, I mean, you know, come on, what are you, you going to do in an armed robbery at nine feet? Hey, you, 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 come on, throw that wallet over here. No, come on, come on, throw it over here. No, they're going to be right up in your face, okay? If they're going to try and grab you, they're going to be right up in your face. And a lot of times, I don't know about you, but I don't walk around the street with my hand on my gun. So it's going to take me a few seconds, even if I was carrying this in my pocket, it's going to take me a few seconds to get it out. All right, and that few seconds... Even once I realize that I'm in a dangerous situation and I need to get that gun out, they could be right up on me. So I'm going to go three feet into those two by sixes instead of three yards. So I'm going to shoot from about here. Okay. Safety glasses. Safety first. Protect our hearing. So first, two rounds from the 380. Huh. And I'm going to say those went all the way through. Oh yeah, and did some serious damage. Boy, pardon my sweating. It's like 90 degrees out here. The humidity is about the same. Man, I can't wait for winter. Winter in the south is great. 
every other time of year pretty well sucks. <laughs> so that was the 380. Now let's try the Pieta snub nose. First, 30 grains triple F Go X, followed by 30 grains of my powder. Didn't really feel much of a difference there. And I'm going to follow that up with a 5 inch barrel, same type of charge. Oh, got a got a chain fire. Interesting. And that would have been my powder that chain fired. Probably through the nipple because my powder is a little finer grade than the commercial. All right, let's see what we got here. Interesting. Okay, the, the little 380 really um, surprised me. With that critical defense, I actually thought that it would hit this wood and just disintegrate. Let me raise this up here so you can see what's going on. I really thought it would hit this two by six and just disintegrate. That hollow point, uh-uh. It went all the way through and then went up all the way through the other side. So it went through three inches of wood. Probably could have gone through four, four and a half, because it looked like it had plenty of power. I mean, look at the look at the damage done as it went through the back. So it went through this one first, then this one through here, came out the back and just tore that wood up. Now, when we get to the five inch snub nose, no penetration all the way through. See, we got two rounds right here, and they did not go all the way through. So much less powerful than the 380 with the snub nose. And that is including Go-X versus My Powder. Now, just looking at it, it looks like the penetration's about the same. Okay, so it doesn't look like my powder is really any hotter than, say, a commercial Go-X. At least, the powder that I use, um, red cedar chips for the charcoal, balsa is a light, much lighter wood and would produce much faster gunpowder, so that might work even better. But, when I shot the 5-inch barrel, and there, you can see it, you can see it starting to come through, see? just starting to come through and the back piece of wood stopped it if oh excuse me if this piece of wood hadn't been backing that up it probably would have gone on through but because it hit that solid wood it stopped you can see the lead there on the ball chain fire on the other one on my powder who knows where it went so if you're going to make your own powder be careful um chain fires are going to be a lot more common and they're not good to have on a black powder revolver. But as far as just sheer power goes, that little 380 beat both 44 calibers on wood. My suspicion is it would do the same thing on ballistics gel, which just shows that modern conventional firearms are superior to black powder. I mean, there's no question about that, okay? And I've never claimed that black powder was as good as conventional, let alone more powerful. I mean, when you think about it, it's 150 year old technology. Of course the new stuff's gonna be better. We've learned a lot, okay? Of course they're gonna be better. The question is that just because conventional firearms are better, does that mean the black powder is useless? Well, we saw the five inch barrel with a 30 grain Go X charge almost completely penetrated a two by six, one and a half inches of wood. I'm wondering what that would do to somebody's innards and they you know, hit here in the middle of the body as far as stopping power goes. I'm thinking against a meat target, this is, is gonna 
hold its own. Maybe not as good as this. So why would you want to carry this instead of this? Well, that's a different video. I actually do have some reasons that some people would consider to be very good reasons for preferring the black powder over the conventional. You might disagree. I'm not going to get into that now, but I'll bring that up in my next video. So this one is empty also, by the way, because of that chain fire. <laughs> so did some good penetration, but little more than half of what this did. And then when we went down to that three inch barrel, right, didn't even make it through one two by six. Now again, up close, it might go through a rib cage and it might do some soft tissue damage. It might not. We need to test that. But that is just a, a very quick comparative test. And uh, I hope you can hear me because I took my microphone off. And uh, we'll uh, see you next time. And as always, if you're going to try this at home, uh, be careful. Okay, these are actual firearms. They're not toys. Remember that.